hi guys today we will be making some effect like this i know many people like the fire effect so you can use it in your videos any projects but i will focus on steam artwork these are the two artworks i found related to fire remember i have combined them together for this you just need this sable plugin the link is in the description open your after effects drag your background just and it will create a composition at the same size of your image the duration of my composition is around 10 seconds with height according to you to your image and press ok now comes the actual part press right click create your text I will choose a big text this time uh, let's say maverick a very great friend of mine I will use Resnick the font I'm using is Felix align the text in the center like this now right click go to new solid and it will create a black solid layer now the effect will be applied on this layer black solid right click in effects you will find video copilot and in the act you will find the saber effect go to customize score score type text here the text you want here maverick and then select the fire text since the text is very big and my computer is small it is not readable so we'll have to do some changes low density 15 start size around 20 to 25 yeah and end size 25 now it is bit readable now to create an animation go to around 3 to 3 4 seconds and click make a keyframe on end offset go back to 0 seconds make it 0 percent now it will create a really cool animation like this text is coming now we are unable to see the background even if we make it visible so for that we have to pre-compose the text layer and the black solid layer select them Control shift c to pre-compose now we'll change the mode to linear dodge and you will be able to see the text this is it if you are uh, now scale it according to your needs if you are unable to see the mode click on toggle switch mode now we can do other things like adding more of this effect on some shapes or layers Go to new solid, okay. same way effect, and select the saber effect. Go to customize this time text layer, but I'm using this steam artwork. I don't know if this works, but uh, go to fire. There are so many of them. Change the glow intensity like this. Change it. It's up to you, whatever you want, according to your background and text, how big it is. It's how creative you can be. Just make it linear dodge, press P to position it, move it on the left side, your artwork, and control D to duplicate and move it to the right side. Uh, this is um, that's it. This is a very cool animation. Remember, whenever you are making a uh, text animation, don't forget to make the reverse time reverse layer. For that, go to around 4 to 5 seconds. So click on pre-compose and press Alt and right square bracket. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate. Go to right click, go to time and time reverse layer. Move it just beside first click on zoom it like this not a box but like this and now this will create a really cool animation the text will come stay on the screen and will go in the same way it came this is it now since we have created pre-com already whenever you want to change the text you can just double click it and change the text anything you want let's try some small name this time 
uh, Sa like my name Saad. Okay, let's write some different name like uh, Fury, a friend of mine. Furious Fury, change the text. That's it, it will be there. You can change the effect as well. Like this time I'm changing it to burning. Increase the start size to make it more look it more catchy and that's this is it. Now you can see the animation here. Now we can even change the background. Just go to the project, main project and right click on it. You can replace or just delete the image and bring your second image, move it below all the layers and here it is. We can change the right and left side file as well. Press R to rotate them and change them like this. That looks cool. I'm leaving the above one. Now just move it by P or just, just select this and move it like this. Control D to duplicate and bring it like here. That's it. You are good to go now. Whenever you want to change, you can just click on pre comp and change the text, size, effect, anything you want. Make sure it's just beside the previous pre comp layer. Okay, now let's try Bebas. A really cool font I like, and it will be here in the main composition. It's like change the effect. Uh, let's try something Firestorm I think Go to main composition Change the settings according to your needs And this In this way Even you can make your Steam profile look hot I hope you liked the video Thanks for watching